How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to show you how I'm routing the Korg Minilog into Ableton so that you can record MIDI, you can record automation and you can also record the audio. So first things first, the, the what you're going to want to do is load a MIDI track and then put an external instrument in there and then if you've got your Minilog plugged in and all the drivers and stuff are installed, then you should see the Minilog coming up here. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to select the Minilog there. And then audio from, this is going to depend on your sound card. So, obviously, first things first, you're going to want to make sure that your input device has got your sound card selected. So... Yeah, obviously you're going to have your output from your Korg going into your sound card and then you're going to want to yeah select that sound card there. And then whichever input channel that your Korg is going into, then that's obviously going to be the channel that you want to select here. So once that's done, you should then be able to start hearing some sound. So on this MIDI channel here, um, if you've got this... Um, um, channel arm selected and then you press a button on your MIDI keyboard you should hear the sound um, so yeah that's kind of step one is obviously just getting the audio into there but one thing that you might find is you'll be able to record MIDI but you won't be able to record automation unless you've unless you know all of the basically like the the midi channel um the midi channels for each separate parameter so i'm using this it's a max for live device i'm going to put a link in the description um somebody's made this and it's an absolute beauty of a yeah device so honestly like i'm not sure how i ever used to use uh, the min log without it to be honest so yeah this is an absolute must to be honest I, it was dead cheap it was like i think it was about five or ten pound it wasn't a lot of money for for like how good it is to be honest so this is going to be how you record your automation so let me just put in a couple of things just as an example so so let's just it sounds terrible but it doesn't really matter it's just um to show you the notes so like if we just had this on here and we didn't have this what we wouldn't be able to do then is basically record the automation as well so like let's say that um yeah you want this filter to open and close so So you can see this filter here, which obviously it looks pretty much identical to the actual hardware, so it's really easy to kind of follow along. Um, yeah, this filter cut off then is going to allow you to, yeah, basically automate like the same as you would with, with any plugin really. Um, so that's basically the, the MIDI channel. And then what I've also got underneath it is an audio channel. So basically yeah just insert audio track and then what you want to do is select the input to be from the the midi channel so it's this it's this one here so this minilog midi is what i've called it so the audio wants to come from there and then you want to make sure it's selected um to in and then when you if you've obviously like read, written out your your kind of yeah, your melody or whatever you've put some like you've put some automation in there if you did want to want to take it out for audio which i do recommend doing fairly early doors because what's going to happen if you change things on the like on the minilog on the settings like you're not guaranteed that you're going to get the same sound when you turn it back on so what i would always do is if you're in, in a session and you're you've got something whatever you've got recorded out in audio as well, just in case it's if you turn it off, it could be gone forever. So, yeah, the way I'm doing this is this is just turned off. So I've got this um, yeah, input channel. It's turned off. 
But then, obviously, at some point, like, you can just click record. Ah, so I don't need to select them both, actually. So we just want to record onto this one. So... So obviously, yeah, here now, then we've got, if we just solo it, um, put it onto auto, we've got then the audio of what you've done. So, and then what I'm doing from there is just grouping them both into an actual mini log group so that I've just got everything in one place and I can just close it. Um, and then, yeah, you can obviously then, it's up to you if you want to leave it in here for your arrangement or once you've got all the bits that you need you can then obviously just um just copy it out and then drop it into your arrangement however you want but yeah this is how i'm setting it up so if you've got any questions let us know cheers guys